Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we are going to explore one of the best Android 15 based ROM for our Redmi Note 4. And as you know, I have reviewed few of the Android 15 based ROM for this device. None of them actually that much usable. And this one also is not really that much usable. But still, if anyone wants latest and greatest on their device, you can check out this ROM. So this one is Komodo OS based on Android 15. And many things actually working well on this ROM. Although I don't really suggest anyone to use uh, Android 15 based on this device because kind of heavy for this device. Better to go with Android 11 or 12 based ROM for this device as this is almost 7 years old and it can't really handle Android 15 well. So if I show you now. So I have been using this ROM about a week now. I did try everything here. There are many things to talk about this ROM because it got few major issues. So first of all, we'll check what we are getting with this ROM. Setting and about phone so as you can see here android 15 based commodo os 15 this is an official rom for this device security patch level is april 1st 2025 android 15 as you can see here and and other information you can see here this is a 3 gb 32 gb model so you can expect better performance out of 4 gb 64 gb model so that's kind of good. So I have already turned off all the animations because with animations, it's going to struggle a lot. As far as setting UI goes, it is pretty much similar to all other Android 15 based ROM. The notification panel, as you can see here, combined here, the notifications and the quick toggle or shortcuts. So for customization, we do have wrap tools. It does not come with a lot of customization, but almost most of the basic Customizations are available like status bar option available. You can choose quick pull down option, system icons, and clock position and everything. So all those are available. And we have button section here. So we can use full screen navigation gesture, or we can use on screen navigation buttons, or we can only use the soft buttons available here. So it's up to you. But currently I am using the full screen gestures. And in the gesture section, we do get swipe to screenshot. So it does work actually. So if I swipe now. As you can see, it is working. And in the miscellaneous setting, we do get game space and related features. And about us, which does not work actually, as you can see here. <coughs> in terms of network connectivity, so Wi Fi, mobile data, Bluetooth working perfectly fine, even Bo LTE and Bo Wi Fi working, but Quick Share is not working for some reason. So if you use quick share, it's not going to work. App section is pretty much similar. Notification, as you can see here, pretty much similar. Battery is doing pretty well. I haven't faced any kind of drain issue or anything like that. It's doing pretty good job in terms of battery. Storage, as you can see here, I have installed games and everything. And it almost took actually 12 to 15 GB of internal storage. Just only the system. So as you can see here, 6.8 and with few other applications kind of 12 to 15 gb to take and after that i have installed few other applications like games and everything so only 4 gb free now sound and vibration working well no issue at all so as you can see here other features and everything available here we do have dolby atmos option and sound control and amplification so those things are available here we don't really have actually part of volume control options as you can see not available but basic features are available here display section Adaptive brightness is available and working well, no issue at all. Other features are available here, double tap to work and double tap to sleep. Working as you can see here, no issue. Wallpaper in style. All the basic features are available. Change wallpaper. We do get few default wallpaper here, but no emoji workshop and AI wallpaper here. So those are not available. And few other options for customization. More lock screen option, we do get few things here, but no AOD. Accessibility option is available. So if you want to disable all the animation, you can disable from here actually. So I have already done that actually it's necessary for this ROM because otherwise it's kind of feels slow. So as you can see here, remove animations. I have already disabled them. Security and privacy. So Fingerprint unlock is working well, perfectly fine, no issue. Private space is available. So if I try now, fingerprint unlock. See? 
pretty fast actually no issue at all and more security option as you can see here trust and other options are available location is working well no issue and that's all actually nothing much in the system setting we do get few other things as you can see here develop option and gesture options so all those things but nothing new here so that's all what we are getting in the setting in terms of application this is not really a GFS build so if you want GFS on your device you have to flush GFS separately so I did install GFS here and GFS is working perfectly fine no issue by default we are getting Gcam go here which is working well I haven't faced any issue regarding camera actually so everything works as you can see here picture we can take and video recording is also working so as far as camera goes the camera is working well even the Gcam the main version of it working well so as you can see here no issue at all so the camera works really well I haven't faced any issue in terms of other features like Google Photos Unlimited Storage that is not available actually so kind of surprising for a custom ROM to not to have this feature so as you can see here not available other feature like WhatsApp is working and as you can see here private mode I have already activated and if I unlock it private mode is also working as you can see here private mode is working well no issue at all WhatsApp is working but I was having some issue with WhatsApp like when I was trying to log in so I could not able to log in WhatsApp here I had to log in as a company and device after that it is working but with the direct number I could not able to log in so that is also another issue here in terms of Google Play Protect certification that is not available so you can't use bank application here and few other application might not work if they need certification so not going to work but most of the application do work well if I show you settings as you can see here about and as you can see a device is not certified and if I try to fix the issue it's not going to do that actually none of the under 15 based ROM actually coming with Google Play product certification even on my Redmi Note 8 and Redmi Note 7 so they are also having same issue in terms of phone call as I said Bo LTE and Bo Wi-Fi working and also call recording is working but I can't really find the call recording so as you can see here incoming call and recorded 8 seconds but if I try to play the audio I can't play and I can't even find it actually I don't really know where it is so as you can see here in the music player I don't really get it and in the file manager also audio section it's not available so there is some issue with call recording too FM radio is working well and other things like we do get circle to search a little bit slower side but working well no issue at all as you can see here so circle to search is working and in terms of gaming I said it before also this is not really a gaming phone and Android 15 is kind of heavy for this device I did try to play Call of Duty here but it crashed the game I could not able to play but games like Subway Surf Temple Run 2 all these games work well here but kind of heavy game like online games those games not going to work the ROM is pretty much usable I haven't faced any kind of major issue and everything is working well as you can see here the animations and everything pretty smooth actually although I disabled them but I haven't faced any issue like that as you can see here everything is working well so in terms of these things actually it is one of the best ROM you can get if you really want Android 15 on your device and as you can see here everything works and if you want to try this ROM I will put the ROM link in the description below only if you want to try Android 15 on your device but if you are looking for a good stable ROM for your device you can go with Android 11 or 12 based ROM those will work better actually so that's all about it thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one